in this video, just wanted to kind of give you some of my thoughts on uh, some of the initial stuff that we have here coming in Madden 24. I'm going to kind of just go through this uh, trailer here and uh, also just talk a little bit about what's going on uh, community wide here with the release of the beta. One of the things that's kind of unfortunate is there actually was a uh, we actually found out recently that we're not going to be able to really talk, even talk about the beta um, publicly, which is a little bit annoying. I'm not sure why they would do that. I feel like it only gives and provides um, hype to the game. Uh, so to me, just kind of interesting, not sure uh, really why they wanted to go in that direction. But with that in mind, a lot of our content is going to be spent around kind of trying to communicate to you guys some transferable concepts. Um, I will have a complete beta ebook of schemes in our patreon that will actually work in the beta um, we're not going to be recording the beta um, we're not even going to necessarily even be talking about it beta but we are going to be providing you guys with some of the insight into um, just some of the general stuff that you can do in the beta of course and that you can do every single year but i did want to talk about this trailer i just wanted to talk about some of the madden 24 uh, key focuses uh, that we're going to see here so one of the things is um, that field sense is uh, going to be seeing an increase in control and realism. Uh, this primarily apply or only applies to PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X or S, and PC. So pretty much next gen Madden is kind of fully now current gen Madden. I think I can confidently say that um, the field sense, uh, the field sense development and enhancing the field sense, I think, is actually. Um, really, really, really important. My hope is that some of the movement problems that we had a lot in Madden 23, specifically on the defensive side of the ball, is going to be improved. I don't really think, in my opinion, they're not like super far off from being have from having the game in a really good spot. I think Madden 23 was just a couple of a couple of things away from being a really good game. I think Madden 22 was a couple of things. Um, away from being a really good game. So one of the things that we did see in this trailer, um, here you see the mini games. One of the other things that we saw in the trailer um, was a lot of different types of blocking, a lot of different types of like just hitting in general. That is because one of their key things that they're doing this year is the hit everything uh, 2.0 feature. Hit everything expands with new contested catch tackle types that will provide more control and tackle variety on defense. Tackle animations are selected more dynamically, which unlocks new and more fluid um, tackle interactions like wrap and scoop tackles. One of the things I did want to say about the fluidity of the game is the general consensus uh, from a lot of creators that have actually already played the game and have had some experience with the game is they're generally saying the game is a lot more fluid than it has been over the last couple of years. This is kind of some of the things and some of the challenges that happens when you go from one generation of the console to a next generation of the console is there's always this choppiness, this little in-between uh, segment of time where they're trying to kind of figure out, okay, how does the game work now that we're under a new operating system or new engine? And what I hope is that we're on year four now on a next-gen console, we should start to come into a little bit more of the fluidity, a little bit more of the consistency, and again, as you see here in the in the gameplay, a little bit more of a smoothness um, to the game. Another big feature this year, and I hope that they have improved upon it significantly, is the skill-based passing 2.0, um, where you can uh, do things like we saw in the trailer, where you can dive for a winning one-hander with improved catching AI, thread the needle, surgical accuracy, using new throwing animations, and anticipating more authentic defensive reactions with enhanced defensive back behavior that has been introduced into this new skill-based passing 2.0. So if you weren't free-forming in Madden 23, you probably should start um, because this is clearly the direction that they want to go with passing, which I hope that they're just continuing uh, to improve on. The biggest thing that I want is that the ball doesn't go through your hands and that you actually, like, I just think I just want more consistency from freeform. I feel like freeform and, and really in general in Madden 23, the general consensus with the game from my perspective is that it was a very inconsistent year of Madden. And I just hope for more fluid, smoother animations and just a better overall game product. There you saw that crazy throw from Mahomes. Apparently going to be able to do that now. Um, you're seeing these like kind of like these these animations that they're showing you in the trailer, or they're they're kind of like smoothly coming in now. So. 
I think there's a lot of good uh, coming with the game. I'm really excited for Madden 18, or um, uh, I'm sorry, Madden 20, uh, Madden 24. I was thinking for a second there it might play a little similar to Madden 20 or Madden 18. It will be interesting to see the enhanced defensive back behavior. Um, that's another thing. Like I feel like that was one of the biggest issues with Madden 24 was just how defensive backs, the movement, and the way defensive backs moved in general, specifically in coverage, a lot of times in zone coverage, they just were terrible. They wouldn't react to the ball. Um, you know, you you had to have a million and one KOs to even have a shot at stopping somebody. And so I, I just hope for the enhanced defensive back behavior, kind of holding on to that as something that is is going to be good. Um, now, AI enhancements in general, um, quarterback awareness and behavior, um, I'm not real. That doesn't really apply for like online players, in my opinion. We'll see if it does or not. Ball carrier AI and pathfinding. What I hope is in there is like it, hopefully it's a little bit easier just to cut it and out. Um, again, some of that like choppiness in the movement. I just hope that that's that's fixed. Uh, the uh, the blocking in general and the open field targeting. I think this is one of the biggest areas of emphasis um, for them. You're seeing in this trailer a lot of different types of blocking. I do think that blocking was a big emphasis. One of the things that concerns me slightly is the general consensus that I've heard is run blocking is significantly improved and pass blocking is, is really about the same. I'd like to see run block. I, I just I just hope we're not play, getting ready to play Madden 20 again. Um, so hopefully uh, the run is not overpowered. I think anytime the run is overpowered, it makes for kind of a stale game. I think what you want is you want to have that proper balance, which is hard to find, of course. Um, another one of the AI enhancements is the DB awareness and pass coverage. Again, I just really hope that that is true. Um, we've played, we've had really bad defensive Maddens the last two years. It's been very difficult to play defense. Um, even Madden 21 on next gen, it was really hard. Ever since we've gone to next gen, the bottom line, um, is ever since we've gone to next gen, it really hasn't been easy to play defense. Um, even with blitzing, even with all those things, it's been really hard to play defense. I'd like to see, um, I guess, just more more defenders playing better. And if they're not going to make them play better, give us more tools defensively. Um, I'd just like to see a little bit better defensive game, not just in the sense of, like, blitzing is good or whatever. There's really more of the coverage. Like, we've had good blitzes over the last couple of years, um, but the coverage has just been so brutally bad. Um and the way the defensive backs just react to the ball has been so brutally bad that it's made really hard uh, to play defense because even when you make the right adjustment, it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to react to the ball. And that's been, I think, the biggest issue um, over the last two Maddens is that there's just been a lack of ability to do really anything defensively. And then it's led to super high scoring games. But you could be playing a really good player and a really bad player and they both could score 30 on you. And so I think that is one of those things that needs to come to a halt. Hopefully that's the case in Madden 24. Really excited about the game. Going to be jumping on the beta today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll be trying to give you as much information about preparing for Madden 24 as we possibly can.